Steve falls in love really, really easily. I think we've seen he's had several relationships in it. Um, but I think the fact that he's been running around after him, you know, running into his boarding school to bring him back to kind of help Tony because his son was gone, so he's brought him back in his life. But he's also sleeping with his son, so he's kind of going behind Tony's back at the same time. But uh, yeah, the fact that Steve's running around chasing after Harry. We go through Harry, a lot to be with each other. Yeah, we do. And put there's a lot of risk in it, so. But it changes quite a lot. So one minute it's Harry chasing after Steve, and then it'd be, oh my god, I actually really love him. So then Steve will be chasing after Harry. So every episode is always a little bit of a twist in our feelings. Harry, you've had to, um, when you get your scripts, do you ever see top off shots? Yeah. So we've seen a scene where you are at the Lomax house with yeah. a, uh, <laughs> a loaf of bread disguising certain parts. What's it all like? What's it like doing those sorts of scenes? Uh, so when you first get them, it's a bit like uh, it's a bit weird, but I think you just get used to it after the first ten times. He loves it. So we're walking around in a very strange codpiece kind of thing. Um, I don't know. It depends how like how how uh, in shape you're feeling on the day as well. Because <laughs> it's been a fat day or a skinny day. Like it sounds stupid, but just get a bit self-conscious. But it's fine now. It's become a bit of a running joke, it. really. Have but you seen his Instagram? <laughs> Uh, How many followers have you got? <laughs> Bit more recently, isn't it? Yeah. But <laughs> since these topless shots. But I used to do, I used to do like gym, like before, like not before and after, but progress shots before I came on Hollyoaks. But now everyone thinks it's because of this. But I was doing it way before Hollyoaks started. So. Well, to be fair though, if you had a body like that, then you would, you wouldn't mind getting your kit off. It's kind of inspired me to go to the gym because I felt ridiculous next to Parry without my top on, and I'm slowly getting there. Is John Paul kind of long forgotten now, or is he still kind of in the picture? <clears throat> so, lots of the avid viewers that watch every single episode will remember not so long ago when Steve and John Paul split up, they, they left it with, if we still love each other, we'll get back together on Christmas Day and meet under the archway and try and make a go of it, like, second time round and save the marriage. People still tweet about that now, going, oh, will it happen, won't it happen, but now he's got Harry, so it's not going to happen. So, there is going to be something that happens on the Christmas Day to give a nod to that. Uh, but we can't reveal what happens. And John Paul's heavily involved in the reveal of Hashtag Starry on the <laughs> birthday episodes. And what about you, Perry? Have you been getting any sort of feedback from viewers? Are people kind of annoyed that you've come like in the middle in of this popular couple? Thing. I think, like I said it before, like whenever, whenever there's a new relationship or something, the fans are always a bit protective of, uh, you know, protective of the previous relationship. So I think, I don't know how it all went between... Uh, Stenden and what were, what were you and John Paul? Stick McKay. McKay. I don't know what they were all like within the changes of that, but when I first started, no, when I first kissed John Paul, everyone was up and arms about that. And then when me and Kieran kind of started, they were like, oh, why can't they just have John Paul and uh, Stevie happy together? Did it? Why they always got to do all this stuff? But now they seem to be shipping us, shipping, so I said turn those into you. <laughs> like, uh, I said it way too casually then, <laughs> like, um, yeah, they're shipping us now, apparently, so it took some time, but we got there. Okay. But yeah, they're very protective. And what do you two think, personally, who would you like to see partnered up with who, or other people, maybe? It's a funny thing, because when you work with an actor for 12 hours a day, every day of the week, virtually, then you kind it's of build up... Oh, do you? <laughs> you get sick of Joking. them, do you? Joking. You kind of build up a relationship with them, so you think, oh, I actually do like the two <laughs> together. But then, when you get attitudes like this, maybe I want John Paul back. <laughs> now, let's talk about, uh, let's, let's talk about uh, the exciting 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, tell us, give us a bit of gossip. What's it been like on set? Has there been a big party? I think actors, in general, are always like, oh, make it about me, make it about me. Yeah. And I think every single actor in the show for the 20th anniversary has got to be happy because it is literally about the show in general and about everybody. Um, Although, a lot of it's about Nick, I guess. But well, yeah, he's been in the show for 20 him. years. Uh, we've got bits to do... Um, Cindy's got bits to do the, the Roscoe's have got a huge um, is it can we call it a stunt yeah and the killer glove hand yeah the gloved hand killer so this everybody's doing their own little bit so we've had 12 months of great storylines and it's kind of all it's culminating a word it's culminating a word so Cul it's all coming, coming to together, a climax coming to a climax like a jigsaw and the final piece is being <laughs> put in at the end of the week to reveal <laughs> Everything, the big picture, meaning 
we'll find out who the glove hand killer is. <laughs> Let's talk about the glove hand killer. Now, <clears throat> I'm guessing you guys probably already know the identity, but obviously it's building up to the big reveal during anniversary week. What What's it kind of been like in terms of, you know, fans and social media? Have you felt as, as people been constantly asking you and relatives and who is it? No one's really asked me. I don't know why. I think everyone else is being asked about it, but I'm, I just get asked about starry stuff, but... I think it's all the nurse. I don't know if you've been asked about the glove hand. Or yeah, all the time when you're out in the streets, like, people are like, who is the glove hand killer? Um, so you find out them. It's hard to not let slip Him, well. she, whoever it's going to be um, that week. And I think it's already been, I've already done an interview where I was like, oh my God, it was such a shock. It really is a shock because for like months and months we were like, nobody knew in the building. We are like, oh my God, it could be, it, it could be. Harry, it could be anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone in the hospital. So when we found out who it was, we were like, oh my God. 